something you honor, especially in a tight knit community like Hawthorne. And that's who's joining me here today. The mayor of Hawthorne, Jacqueline Randall. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Now we're here to talk about the 90th Hawthorne homecoming that kicks off this week. Tell me what this means to your community, to the town. It is very, a very momentous occasion for us. Um, it's not many traditions that make it to the 90th mark. So for us, we are making it a big celebration as it should be for us. It's something that um, we hold very true to family and faith mm -hmm. and that's what this uh, whole homecoming was founded on was those two principles and so to see it 90 years turn around uh, we definitely want to celebrate that. That is so cool. Now starting Thursday there's a list of events going on all week. Can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect starting on Thursday? Yeah so Thursday we will kick off with the opening ceremony which I'll give a um, opening remark. We'll have the infamous famous uh, Pop Heron to give us our speech and then we'll have a lot of the local dignitaries to come out and um, get to know the community. Now, if you don't mind me asking, can you tell me a little bit about Pop Herring and who he is? Brother Pop Herring, to me, he started off as a high school dean. Mm -hmm. And so from that, he is definitely a pillar in our community. He touches so many lives across the sector in Hawthorne. It does not matter what background you come from. Mm -hmm. We all seem to have a connection to someone that is so genuine about um, our success and the success of our community. So we cherish him. Awesome. I, I noticed the theme of this year, too, is keeping the dream alive. So honoring yes. Pop Herring and having that theme definitely go hand in hand. Absolutely, absolutely. He's definitely a um, walking dream. Um, our local Martin is what we call him. He's our historian who um, can not tell the story better than anybody in Hawthorne concerning our homecoming. Oh, not better than anybody but you, of course. So you were telling me a little bit earlier. Yeah. You've been going since you were this, this tall. I have. It's definitely been a family tradition for us. I can recall that all of my family, even though they wasn't a part of the Hawthorne community, would come and celebrate that time with us. And so now to see it full circle through our children um, is a blessing. It's really something that we are all looking forward to, to right. seeing. And never missing a homecoming. That's dedication. No, yeah, definitely loyal to the cause. It's a very proper moment for us. It's something that we take seriously. Mm -hmm. And so um, we honor it and we want to cherish it. For more, many more years to come. Now, talk to me. Let's say this is my first time going to Hawthorne Homecoming, and I want to go to every single event from Thursday to Sunday. What do I need to know every single day? Come ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Come prepare for the heat. Mm -hmm. Bring a seat. I like how that rhymes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that is truly what it is for us. Um, we love to get together. We love to laugh. We love to eat. And we love to fellowship. And that's what uh, this homecoming would be. Absolutely. And, you know, your sunscreen, your water, your lawn yes. chair, you need all those things. I think we talked a little bit earlier. You were mentioning some of the vendors have been there so, so, so long. Yes. And to bring cash. Yes. So we definitely have a... Um, um, selection of vendors who have been with us for a um, long amount of time and we look for those v vendors in particular but we always have new vendors and I always tell people to have cash and card because mm -hmm. some of the vendors are of older generation and they may not be so savvy with the Apple Pay and, and the yeah. um, card. Right. Now Mayor Randall here's your last question. What's the one thing you want a first timer to walk away from? Now, like say they, they go and they experience the good food, the good music, the atmosphere, it's great. But when they go home, what do they need to know about the Hawthorne community? Exactly who we are. We are, as a people, we are genuine, loving, um, very family oriented. Um, we love to support one another. So if anything, I want everyone to leave this homecoming, going back home, feeling empowered, loved and um, Connect it, connect it back to what our roots and who we are as a people. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Mayor Randall, for joining me today. This was great. Yes. This was an awesome opportunity to talk about homecoming. It's going on from Thursday to Sunday. We'll have more details on WCJB.com.